Hello everyone, welcome to Siddhi Academics. I'm Amrita. I firmly believe that we should keep trying until we get it right. Let's start our trial for today. Let's finish off the logical reasoning section of uh, IMO grade 6 set C. Then we will move to the next section. But for that, if you want, want to watch all those and learn along with me, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Siddhi Academics. Let's start. Let's solve question number 11. Question number 11 says, Pointing towards a photograph, Myra says, He is the only son of my, of the only brother of my mother. How is the person in the photograph related to Myra? So, uh, this is Myra, Myra's mother and ma her mother has got a brother, only brother. And that brother has got a son. So, we have drawn the graph or uh, the chart for it. Now, what will be the relation between Myra and uh, the mother's brother? Definitely, he is Myra's uh, uncle, right? Maternal uncle that we call. Maternal uncle in uh, Indian, Indian language we call Mama or Mamu. So, Myra's matern maternal uncle's son will be definitely Myra's cousin, right? So, as per uh, the question, the option A should be the correct answer. So, question 11, answer is A, cousin. Okay, so let's move to the next question. Let's solve question number 12. Question number 12 says, if all the digits are removed from the given arrangement, all the digits means numbers, then which of the following is third to the left of fifth element from the right end? So first, let's not get into this which of the following uh, phrase. Let's first remove all the digits or numbers. 7, 5, 3, 2, 1, 1. Now we will read this. Which of the following is third to the left of fifth element from the right end? Now leave this part. To third to the left of. You will only understand it later. First you understand fifth element from the right end. So this is the right end. From the right end let's check which is the fifth element. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. L is the fifth element from the right end when we check. Now, let's move and uh, uh, understand third to the left of fifth element. So, third to the left of will be, this is, we have to start checking from here. So, this is first element after, to the left of fifth element, this is the first element, M. Second element is J. Third element is exclamation mark. So, D option, if you check here, D option has got exclamation mark. So, question number 12, option, uh, correct option is D, exclamation mark, okay. So, always divide the question into sections and then you can, in such kind of questions, divide the question into sections and then you will be able to answer it. Let's move to the next question. Question number 13 says, in the given Venn diagram, this is called as Venn diagram, um, this kind of diagrams, square represents the students who like science. So, stu uh, students who like science here are 2 outside 4, 8, 8 and 5. So, if you add all this 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 5, that is the total number of children who like science, right? So, it will be 11 plus 8, 9. 19 students actually like science. Rectangle represents the students who like maths, okay? So, 8 plus 5 plus 1, okay? These are the students who like maths. 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 1 is 14. 14 students like math. Doesn't matter, I am just trying to explain you how a Venn diagram works. Okay, and uh, triangle represents the students who like English. Okay, so 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 1, 8, 8 plus 5, 13 students like English. Which number represents the students who like English and maths but not science? So, if you look here, you have to check the number that is being shared between the rectangle and the triangle, okay? But it does not have any part in the square. That number does not come inside the square. The number should be part of the rectangle and the triangle because rectangle represents which uh, subject? Maths. Triangle represents English and uh, our square represents science. Question says, who like English and maths but not science? So, if you check here, 5, 5 uh, and 8, both are uh, children who like science. We don't need 
children who like science and 5 is a part of also english so mainly 5 5 is a number which is uh, are those children who like english maths and science okay and 8 is a number which represents students who like uh, science as well as maths so one is such a number which is only shared between the triangle and the rectangle but not the square so number of students who like english and maths but not science will be represented by one so only one student as per the options option c is the answer for question number 13 okay one student one student likes english and maths but not science let's move to the next question let's start with the uh, question number 14 question number 14 is a very simple question this question says select the correct water image of the given word fiction see this question can be done very easily by those children who are interested in the world around them but those children who are more focused on uh, phones or uh, uh, or mobile and uh, laptop they 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 would falter they might falter see this is fiction let this be uh, the water line and then let's form the image over here for f it will be just like this right i as it is it will come c will come like this t again will come like this okay water image we are talking about water image i again same image o again same image for n it will be just ulta this line here this line here and this this is how the water image for n will be formed so you have to just uh, think if you have ever watched water how uh, the image is formed if you have looked carefully then you will be able to answer this option now if you check this kind of uh, images for uh, shown in option a so for question number 14 option a is the correct answer because it shows exactly this image okay so now let's move to the next question question number 15 now let's move to question number 15 question number 15 says select select a figure from the options in which the given figure is exactly embedded as one of its part so this is the given figure where is it embed embedded means where is it's exactly inserted now if you look here the lines don't match with this option a b if you see this part b if you check out this part this line here 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 this part this part is exactly the same as this so option b for now just let's have a look at c and d no this this figure is not there in c or d definitely option b question 15 answer is option b okay 